What's up guys? <clears throat> um, hopefully you get to see this footage. I've lost two SD cards in the last two days, so I don't have any footage from anything we've done the last couple days. Hopefully you get to see this though. Um, a lot of you were super interested in the new toter. Uh, all we really showed you was the outside after it was wrapped. Everyone wants to know what's under the hood though. So, what's under the yeah, hood? I don't know. We've never even really looked, have we? I don't know. Has it got a motor? No, I think so. Is it yellow? Uh, yes. That, that was very important to everyone. Really? If, it ain't, if it ain't yellow, they don't care. It was pretty important to me, too. Yeah. Like, but for this thing, I may have made an exception. Look how dirty it is. Yeah. I, I may have made an exception for this thing, though. Uh, considering this is really what I wanted, like, I may have made an ex exception. Um... I thought it said Cat 15 on it somewhere. Let me, I know it's a, a C15 or a what? 3406E is, is what I'm told that it is. Okay, well. Oh shit, big rock. Let's figure that deal out. Cause they said something about the C15 is, is what? The twin turbo Acer stuff. Look right here. 3406. That's what it says. Does that say 99? 1999 or 1998. Uh, so it, it, it's, a, it's a Caterpillar 3406E model. They say this is a really good one. Uh, factory, they're what, 550? And this one's turned up a little bit? I don't, I thought they were 450. <clears throat> I thought the old one was four. I thought our old C12 was. This one's supposed to be 575 or 600. Yeah. So I don't know. Me. Huh. I could have fucking sworn that it said it up right up top. Maybe I just never saw it. I don't know. I need to clean this deal though. Pretty, pretty dirty. But everything is, I guess. Yeah, I mean it's sitting out here in the dust, and know. you know it's windy in out Oklahoma. In the look at the look at the windshield. And we're fixing to drive this thing. I don't even know if I can see. And the windshield's dirty. I should probably learn a few things about this deal. Right? Yeah? Huh? You know how to drive it, right? Uh, you know. I mean, what more do you need to that, know? That, that, that there's oil in it? Oh yeah, that's your thing. That's uh, <laughs> checking oil is my thing. So, I don't know, man, I love it. So, of course, everybody knows we got it. It was blue, like this, like this blue. That blue. Uh, and now it is white. But look at this blue. Ugh. So we put the 24 fives on it and we got an email from somebody saying, please take those off. You're going to have blowouts and stuff. Nah. Matt laughed about that. A lot of people have um, laughed about that. Yeah. So uh, I don't really know. I don't know. Like, I know that I talked to Matt and said, can I put 24 fives on the front of this thing? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> And I was like, okay, what tires? And so he told me the size and everything for whenever you bag these things. Yep. So that's what I got. And uh, I'm not gonna worry about it anymore. But then we get emails saying, you're gonna blow those tires out. They're not made, the, the, that thing's not, that wheel's not made for that much weight and all that, you know? How much it, weight? I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess that guy knows how much this thing weighs. Yeah, well, I'll but, promise you, we won't be rolling down the interstate any heavier than any other Peterbilt that's hauling a load, you know, unless they have the heavy load signs and all that stuff. Oh, that didn't really uh, go down. So it was in, it just didn't want to go. <clears throat> 379 Pete, Cat 3406 E or C15, um, whatever, whatever it takes. Yeah. Yeah. All the horsepower. Oh, hey, get this. I've seen the, I've seen this a couple times too. Uh, man, that's way too much horsepower. That's a waste. Uh, you guys would be better off with a 300 horse Cummins. And I'm like, what? I don't know, man. This just doesn't feel right. Yeah, we'll have to revisit that before we take off. It's not sitting right. 
don't know. That's what I'm talking about. I just need to be around it a little bit. We need to be out on the road by ourselves with this deal, like some sort of uh, travel around and maybe race. Yeah, you know, meet, meet, you know, meet some time. fans every yeah, week or something. Time to, uh, to figure this deal we out, should, so. we should look into that and see if we can find something. You want to get in the cab first before we check out the? Look how filthy everything is. So. <laughs> Peterbilt 379 Cat 3406E or C15. It's got a 15 speed transmission. Sean gets to be a real truck driver now. I don't know about that. I mean, it's got a lot of. There's a lot of gauges lot of in gauges there. Gauges and a lot of uh, switches. switches and all kinds of stuff. You know what all the switches do? Um. I mean, you know, pretty much it says what they all do. Oh, okay. Can you read them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. But, you know, the ones that are uh, real important to me, I went ahead and put uh, you know, some yeah. bills on it. Yeah. Like uh, the cruise. The cruise is sweet. This thing and got then, cruise control? Yep. And then headlights. So, yeah. Got a backup camera. The truck itself has seven, get this right, 727,000 miles on it. It's almost to the Million Miler Club. Yeah. So the motor itself, though, has 5,000, is what he said. So it got rebuilt about 5,000 miles ago. Um, got the wood grain on the dash. Yeah. Wood grain gripping on yeah. the steering wheel. I'm not real sure about all that. Uh, and it's really blue. Yeah. But, That's uh, how I'm gonna drive this thing right there. Right air it out. This, I, yeah, no, it's the seats are really nice. Um, this right there, that's it. Yeah. As low as it goes. Yeah. I can't, I can't go as low as it goes. Oh, you can't go. Nah, uh, cause then it doesn't. It just, uh, it's solid after that. But this right here, because I think it's because my legs are so long, then I have to come up more if I'm. It's more comfortable if I'm, you know. But I can't be. I also can't be way up here like I am on my other truck. I don't know. I think I'm gonna like it though. It's super nice truck. I know you don't like the blue, but once you get past that, well, everything's blue. Like I mean, he had a I theme can, and he rocked it. Uh huh. I can turn every light on this truck blue. Yep. I don't really know how. I think it's those. Oh, yep. All those lights are blue. Oh, yeah. So. Okay. And this is, uh. <clears throat> it's narrow through there. Real narrow through there. My other truck was uh, a lot a lot bigger than that. Yeah. But, it, you know, it wasn't a Peterbilt, so. No. You know, you got to deal with your bullshit, right? Huh? What are you doing back there? Aaron's kicked back in her mm -hmm. new truck. Okay. <clears throat> hey, there's a lot of people upset that you're covering those care. up. I don't care. So they cannot cover theirs up on their beats. Yep. That right there, though. Nah. Gotta go. Uh, and then while he was delivering this deal to me, he lost this. So we have a new one inside. I haven't put it on yet. Uh, I haven't really been around or had any time or. And we still have what three months before we're gonna start having to use this. So. Uh, it's up here. We're actually at my toter guy's place, and uh, he's getting ready to box them deals in. So, nah, everybody. <laughs> so, it is. I feel a, like we're on MTV Cribs here. Show hauler. <laughs> yeah, no, and, and that's the way I'm gonna feel whenever I go places. This is day and night nicer than what I had. Oh, yeah. And hell, I was happy to have what I had. Like, we rocked it for two years. Oh yeah. You know, and and. Uh, and we liked it, you know? The only thing that we didn't like was I didn't have a bed. I didn't have a bedroom in it. And so every morning, we'd have to put the couch up and fold it all up. And, yep. and then we had a mattress on top of the couch that we put over the top. And that's not even as bad as after busting our asses all day is having to pull that couch out and set it up to go to sleep when you're just ready to go to sleep. Which Aaron mostly did that, Yeah. but yes. Uh, and then whenever I lived in that thing for three months while we were filming, uh, I just never put it up. 
because yeah. I didn't have no company. <laughs> and I told Aaron while we're on the road, why why do you put that up? Yeah. You know, like we would get we most generally get to the tracks on Thursday. We uh, set everything up Thursday evening. So then you have Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night. Three nights in a row that you don't have to put all that stuff up, but she did it every day anyway. So yeah. it's kind of like, well, not people were in and out, but you know, our people. Yeah. Uh, Mainly me. <laughs> yeah. And t-shirt girl, yeah. you know, Aiden, you know, and if Aiden had any buddies around. Uh, and it's real small in there. So with the bed out, you couldn't even really move around. Uh, this one's going to be totally different because we're going to lock that door and then nobody's going to come in here. So. So then you could just have your bedroom out here still and it wouldn't matter. I think it's the same way as uh, people who make their beds every morning. Nobody goes in my bedroom. I I don't know that I've made my bed once my entire my adult life. My mom is life. the person that no matter oh, my mom does what, too. every day. That's what you do in the morning. You wake up, you make your bed. Yep. <laughs> Not me. No. I find all the covers and all that stuff whenever I lay back down in it that night. Yep. So. But anyways, uh, it does have two slide outs. This is a pretty big slide out, especially for us. Okay, I was say, I thought you wrapped that. You did, that was blue. We gotta fix that too, this big antenna. So it came off the truck. Dual antennas whipping in the wind. Yep. So, one of these couches has gotta go and Aaron doesn't think so. Uh, they definitely don't match. Yeah, this is a nice recliner. But look at that. Look, first off, it could be 12 inches wider for this spot. Whatever. I'll let her do whatever she wants back here. Uh -huh. But it's got a full-size fridge, which she's really happy about that. It's got three ACs on the top. Um, I don't really know enough about this to be given tours. Yeah. So um, I'll learn a lot about it in the first week. Uh, this door they haven't fixed yet. This door was supposed to slide like this. Oh, that's all. That's as far as it goes. This one was falling off. Uh -huh. So, shitter right there. It's where I'll spend most of my time. More time there than the shower for yes. sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. These lights come on when you open these doors. This one don't. Really? I don't think there's any lights. Oh. I'm gonna fix that. Much bigger bedroom than before. Yeah, well, the other one didn't exist, so. I mean, you know, the TV's probably gotta get a, a little bit bigger, but this is what I had to have right here. Oh, I got a ceiling fan in here, too. Sorta. Yeah, sorta. <laughs> it's, it's a baby guy. Yeah, I'll, like bet a, it does, I'll bet it does something. It's like a though. ceiling fan, but smaller. Yes. Uh, it's like the one that's in Aiden's bedroom. <laughs> but. It'll do something, I'll bet. Oh, yeah. Right here. Boo! Oh, it's, it's going the, the wrong way. way. That's the way that Aaron doesn't like it. Oh, wait, that no, that's right the right way. No, that's it blows down. Right? No. Now, that sucks air up, and it takes the hot air that's up there and rotates it around. Me and Aaron have this conversation about ceiling fans all the time. Huh. Like, there's a reason that they're reversible. Because... In the summertime, it's supposed to blow the air down. In the winter time, I leave mine blowing down all the so time. There. She will not do it, even though she's cold all the time in the winter. She won't turn it around. But I'm and always I'm hot, like, so yeah. But I turn it around because the ceilings are so high in our house. All the heat's up there. Yeah. So then it sucks the cool air up and moves the hot air down. You can't tell her that, huh. even though even if she's cold, yeah, she still won't. But man, hey, that moves some air. Let's see, is it the wrong way? I can't really read that because of my old eyes. I mean, that's the way that, that I wouldn't it do it. Yes. yes, that's sucking it up. I think this right here turns it around. Nope. Oh, oh. There it goes. That's the right way. This is the way that will be cooler. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see how well it does. I don't know if there's a high or. Ooh, there is. I feel like that's lower. Oh, yeah, it's almost off there. There's high. Huh. 
man, that's better than nothing. But I also got AC ducts everywhere. Yep. So, and then there's thermostat right here. This is pretty cool too, because my other one didn't have none of this. Like my other one, guys, man, look, we didn't know when the water was full. You just looked. Uh -huh. Whenever you saw that the water was low, you knew you had to put some in it. We didn't know when the shitter was full. We just pulled over after every time we left the track and dumped the shitter. At an approved dumping location. That's right. You only dump at approved place. Yes. Uh, we didn't know when the grade was full. None of that stuff. This mm -hmm. one, it's got all. When it started smelling like pee pee or poo poo, you dumped it. That's right. So, this one's got everything though. Anyway, I'm sure my other one had it. Just it none of it worked. Didn't work. So, but it's it probably what that guy record. fixed, so he could sell it for 125 thousand. That's right. That's right. But none of that stuff mattered to me. It didn't, you know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Like, it was a step above the dually. Yeah. So. It never blew up. It didn't. It did not blow up. I didn't have to search for a Ford. <laughs> no. But no. man, I feel like if I was going to do all this stuff, I definitely wouldn't need all this cabinet. There's no. two foot of space. I mean, you could fit all your basketball shorts in that top left cabinet I, over there. I only need one drawer. <laughs> That's what I told Aaron. I need one drawer. Yeah. Uh, maybe one to hang shirts, my sleevelesses. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, Yep. I mean, I don't wear socks. No. Yep. So. Huh. Yeah. I mean, you could take that whole wall out and put you a big I TV. I know. Look at that. Look at how much room that is. Wow. That's literally two foot of, of useless space. You got to really pull these things. Well, they won't come open. Pull them on the road. Uh, this one doesn't get a light, but man, that's 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 really deep. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hell, I could put my shirts right there. You could put most of your stuff in the thing around the TV. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know, I know. But man, this is gonna be so much better. And you wanna you wanna just lay back here while I drive out to talk to all, or <sighs> let's wait till the next trip. For that. <laughs> all right, let's go. So that's that's kind of the tour of of the new uh, the new Peterbilt toter. You guys wanted to see the inside. We didn't show it to you the first time, so here you go. Now we're fixing to take it out to Fat Fab so they can figure out how they can bag it. That thing's old as shit. It's old Jensen. Well, it ain't that old. I'm 2015. That was left over from like 2008. <laughs> it might have been. I never even turned this deal on. That's the auxiliary button. Oh, power right there. There you go. Okay, so we can put the slide outs in and get ready to go. Uh, the, one of the most exciting things that, that this thing has that the other one didn't was it's got levelers. Oh, the yeah. whole level, like right now, you can tell we're kind of leaning a little bit. The other one, nah, they didn't have nothing. Yep. There's no levelers. And so I talked to Jeff Lutz and he was like, no, nope, Man, we got in the year before they made the levelers. Oh, yeah. Which you can add the levelers to anything. Which yeah. this is just like a, I think it's called a Bigfoot. Uh -huh. And uh, you push the button and it automatically does everything, or you can do it manually. And man, it's going to be cool. I was pretty upset because at first I didn't think you could do it manually. Because when the guy showed me how to run it, he was like, this is how you do it. And he did it. And man, the tires almost came off the ground. I said, this is going to defeat the purpose of me bagging this thing and pulling it in and dropping it to the ground because it's going to lift it that high anyways but no i could just barely touch the ground or at least until the truck's level so that'll be cool what as else, long man? as it still looks cool while it's parked that's all that matters that's really all that matters like that's what we got a peep for big wheels rolling I don't want to drive off in his, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just go that way and circle around, That's right? That's what I'm going to have to do, I think. I'll bet they get mad if you drive out on their nice Bermuda. Oh, 100%. I would get mad if somebody drove to the edge of my concrete. Oh, yeah. More and of a chance of breaking it. Yeah. I bet their concrete's like 16 inches thick, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're not a, a chip, break, scratch, nothing in these deals. Yeah. 
I don't even want to drop that tire off in the grass. Yeah. Look at them out there driving RC cars. So, <clears throat> the first video that we posted of this truck, an old truck driver posted and uh, said he'd been driving for like 30 years and this was a joke that he wanted to tell us. He said, old truck drivers don't get old, they just get their Peterbilt. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so your uh, barometer doesn't work. I was wondering, I I literally you might get that fixed. That's about all I've seen it right there. Like that should move a little. I don't know. I normally start in seventh, second, right? Well, yeah, essentially. My problem though is I want to I want to wrap the gear out a little bit more. Oh no! You know what I mean? And you just you just can't do it. Like when I first got in this deal, I'm trying to shift it at two grand in oh, between shit. gears, and I'm going, man, it's not one to go, you know. And, you just got to be uh, a little more patient than what I am. But Which, the one thing that I've had, I have a problem with right now is like if I if I rolled this corner right here, downshift into the right gear. Yeah. That is that is one problem that. And there's been a couple of times that I forget to put it back down into low to, range. to low range. But like bend in the corner. If I bend that corner right there, I wouldn't know what gear to start in. So I'd probably have shifted it back down to low mm -hmm. and then just hit the throttle and tried to find a gear and every time I've done it I've always done it it's just it's never the right gear yeah <laughs> it's always and it bogs luckily this thing makes enough power that whenever it bogs uh, it, it pulls through itself through it yeah but that's the shit that I have to learn like I 100% have never considered myself a truck driver uh, I can back a trailer yep I can back a trailer but I've never considered myself a truck driver. That's and until I figured that stuff out, I still won't. Yeah. Just because we got a real truck now, yeah. and we have the opportunity to be real truckers, but uh, I don't mean nothing. Uh, and it's gonna take me a while to get used to the, I don't know if it's a everything, every P thing, but the blinkers don't go off. That's a thing. Yeah. Or at least it's a thing in this truck. Yeah. I normally wrap out the last gear before I come over because I skip this gear altogether. Oh, uh, yeah. Even going from high to low. Yeah. Listen to this, though. I can't leave the Jake on while I'm shifting. Only other problem that I seem to have, and it's not really a problem yet, but we haven't pulled any trailers. I feel like the mirrors need to be wider. You can't really, the box <laughs> is pretty wide. Uh, yeah. Uh, it looks like we could slide those. No, you can't. That thing's, them shits is welded. Yeah. So like, when you hear semis coming and they're downshifting, like, like see, I can I can downshift a little, but not not that good. I don't know what turbo's on this thing, but you can hear it singing. Oh yeah. Like just nonstop. Sounds like Aaron's uh, excursion. excursion.
truck driver. Truck driver.